Hello students, let us learn about human respiratory system. Respiratory system ensures the intake of oxygen and removal of harmful gases like carbon dioxide. We can divide the human respiratory system into two. One upper respiratory tract and a lower respiratory tract. Nasal cavity, pharynx and larynx makes the upper respiratory tract. Air enters in the body from the two nostrils of our nose. Nostril are also known as nares. Nostril is lined by hair and mucus which filters the air which may contain dust particles. The air enters into nasal cavity which brings the air to body temperature by warming it up. Pharynx is a tube which continues after the nasal passage or cavity. Then comes the larynx which is the voice box. Passing through the voice box the air enters into the trachea which is also known as windpipe. It is a slender muscular pipe that lies just below the larynx. It expands from thoracic region to the fifth thoracic vertebra and reaches to lungs dividing into two. It is the hyaline cartilage which surrounds the windpipe which gives strength and flexibility to tracheal muscles. If we observe from dorsal view the cartilage ring are incomplete and C-shaped. What do you mean by dorsal view? Dorsal and ventral are the two sides of the body. Dorsal in Latin means back. If you touch your backbone, you are touching your dorsal part of your body. And ventral in Latin means belly. If you are touching your stomach, you are touching the ventral side of your body. So, when observed from the back, the rings are incomplete. This helps in easy contraction of tracheal muscles when food passes from the food pipe just behind the trachea. Trachea further divides into two pipes called the bronchus entering into each lungs right and left. Together both bronchus are said to be bronchi. But which is the left and which is the right bronchus? Well here we are referring to the structure with respect to the human body. In other words, if this individual standing in front of you, then this is the right and this is the person's left side. Similarly, here this is the right and this is the left main bronchus. Bronchi get further divided into thin tubes called the bronchioles. The bronchioles are the root-like structure present inside the lungs. These ultimately leads to the tiny air sacs which look like cluster of grapes. These air sacs forms the basic unit of respiratory system. These are called alveoli and are the site of gaseous exchange that is exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between lungs and blood. One single sac is called alveolus similar to bronchi and bronchus. These smaller sacs helps in the increasing surface area for better exchange of gases. If we closely see one alveolus, we find that alveol alveolus is richly supplied by blood capillaries. Alveolus have very thin single celled membrane which helps in easy exchange of gases between the alveolus and the RBC flowing through the capillaries. The exchange of gases happens by the process of diffusion and oxygen is provided to the blood and CO2 is removed out of the body by the same set of tubes ultimately through the nose. This is the way one cycle completes of exchange of gases. Let us revise quickly what we learnt yet. Nostrils are also known as nares and they have inner lining with hair and
soft mucus which helps in filtration of the air. Then comes the pharynx. It's a tube-like structure which continues after the nasal passage. Larynx, which is the voice box that comes after pharynx. Then comes the trachea, also known as windpipe, which is composed of rings of cartilages. The trachea opens into bronchi. A pair of bronchi comes out of the trachea which with one bronchus going to each lungs. The bronchus leads to the smaller tubes known as bronchioles. Then comes the air sacs. These are the basic structure of respiratory system. Single air sac is known as alveolus which is composed of very thin membrane and is and is the place where blood capillaries open. This is the alveolus where the oxygen mixes with the blood and carbon dioxide exits from the blood and release out of the body from the nose. Thank you.